See, it's like this. There is a longing within a human being to be something more than what you are right now. If this longing finds a very basic physical expression, we call this sexuality. Sexuality is just that, at least for one moment, what you are not becomes a part of you. Somebody who is not you becomes a part of you for some time. Well, after that you know, you are you, they are they. So this is one level of longing, which is fundamentally uh, infused into our body because it has other functions of reproduction and, you know, perpetuating the rays and all this stuff. We are all here because somebody had it, otherwise we wouldn't exist. So, when you try to do yoga, physically, sexuality will happen. If this happens emotionally, if emotionally you try to include something or somebody which is not you as a part of yourself, then we call this love. If this happens mentally, we call this conquest, success, ambition or uh, simply shopping. <laughs> Why are people shopping? Do you think they need it? No, they want to make themselves little more than who they are. Even if you give them empty shopping bags, they will carry it because they want to feel like something more has come to their life today. Otherwise, they'll feel lost. Food, same thing, you want to be something more. Eating for nourishment is one thing, but adding more food because you want to feel like more. So, this longing to be more is fundamental to every human being, it is there. Physical expression will become sexuality, emotional expression will become love, mental expression will lead to all kinds of expressions in terms of conquests of various kinds. When you f give it a conscious expression, it becomes yoga, union. The difference between yoga and sexuality and shopping and conquest and love is, it's a successful process. <laughs> All others give you a taste of something. All others are like, let's say you are living in a… inside the wall, let's say you are in a prison, but they gave you a trampoline. So you jumped and jumped and jumped, you got to look beyond the wall a few times, maybe every day but you come back again and hit the trampoline and again go up. Yoga is not as exciting as a trampoline, it's like a building a ladder. Slowly you build a ladder. Once you build a ladder, you're going to go across the wall. Maybe not as much fun as jumping on a trampoline, but trampoline gets you back all the time. Ladder is not like that, nothing romantic about it. But if you build it strong and climb across, you'll be the other side. 